Oh, this is a different version. Yeah, and just because I'm gay at the Eagle doesn't mean I need you to look at me while I'm peeing. Some of us are just trying to pee, Mary. Not everything has to be look at my look at my. Besides, you're gonna need both eyes and a friend's pair of eyes to get a full look at my piece. <laughs> 2020 is about giving up on gay people in general and backpedaling to the true monsters, the heterosexuals. Yeah, we're, we're taking it back to the source. Hi, I'm Kate Blanchett saying you wanna me, Barbara, Trixie Mattel. <laughs> and I'm so, so sorry, but I just cannot have a baby in this weather. Katya. And welcome to mm. the show where we talk about whatever we want. Cause it's our show. And not yours. <laughs> My thing of us. <laughs> Today is a topic that I hope we'd be able to avoid completely. Yeah, I mean, there are certain subjects in a person's life that have to be dealt with, hopefully briefly, painlessly, but this is one that we've avoided for quite some time. <sighs> Honestly, the worst thing about becoming a famous drag queen, I've had to face off with more straight people than I've ever had to in my life. Yeah. Well, today we're talking about straight people. Straight people. Heterosexuality. So we're talking about straight people, but we're not talking about our straight fans. Yes. Do you know what I mean? It's like you're you got you've got special access. You're you're you have a card. You got a membership card. Yeah. You're not. If you're tuned into this and you're straight, you're probably not a part of what we're talking. Yeah. About. If you, yeah, and if you've made it this far and your face hasn't looked like this, like. <laughs> Then you're not straight, mama. Yeah. And honestly, you're just you're heterosexual. Not, yeah, you're not straight. You're just heterosexual. You like the straights? Okay, well, let's break it down. So <laughs> back in the day, I went through a pattern in high school where I fell in love with a straight guy. Sensitive straight guy who was an like alternative, fell in love with them. About five or six guys, hopelessly devoted to, to you. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> we were in a backyard by the pool, like Olivia Newton John yes. singing, hopefully. To... Yeah, yeah. And yeah. they were like, why are you even at my house? Yeah. <laughs> why are you in my backyard? This, and then I was like, strange twist of fate. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Yes. Um, and then I got over it. I was like, oh, how many useless endeavors am I going to be embroiled in until I realize that I'm wasting my time and I could go out and live my life like Gina Davis? I love Gina Davis. I do too. And she's also a, um, a very good archer. Yes, and she's about 70 feet tall, and I believe she's a genius. It's like common knowledge that she's a genius, Genius right? Davis. <laughs> yeah. Oh, straight people. There's just a problem there. You know, it's straight pasta till you boil it. <laughs> so when I think about straight people, I, I, I go to childhood trauma, light trauma. I, um, I think about being um, forced to play football. Yes, ugh, ugh, that's <laughs> ugh. Football? For what? For what? what? Listen, basketball, basketball and down, down for. But like, like, like I mean, I football, mean football, football is, is the, the stupidest, stupidest sport, sport in the whole world, world American football. The straight guys have definitely come on to me. They sniffed it. Oh yeah. yeah, and it's always alarming. And it's never in a situation where I'm turned on, about to be turned on, or like don't have somewhere to go. One time I was outside of a gay bar, and I told you about that time that guy was like, do you wanna go in alley and play? You look pretty, you wanna play? And I was like, I gotta go. Yeah. I walked, then I walked home alone on foot. Oh, Very safe. Uh, I was chased by a FedEx truck. Chased by a FedEx truck. He went around the way and I had to run into my apartment. He banged on my door for 20 minutes. Maybe he had a package for you. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh my God, it was my sister's inhaler and now she's dead. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I have so many straight men. So many of them. And I one- Do they know? Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I think I told you, I, one man had the gall to tell me after sex, when all the makeup was gone, that um, if he saw me on the street, he wouldn't be able to tell that I wasn't a woman. After the makeup was off? Like all, you know, cause I had, all this came off on his ass. I, okay, I love you. He couldn't tell that you were a drag queen. He thought you'd be a woman. It was very dim in my apartment. <laughs> Straight people who are into drag queens sexually, they are more into, they don't really, we've talked about it. They don't care that you pass as a woman. They no. just, they just. They want the, some of the bells and the whistles. They want the wig and the shoes. I have full coverage pantyhose with a hole with the coming out. I mean, you know what I mean? To hide the scars. It's like, 
It I love is, those outfits. And those also trashy, sh all oh, sheer black except cut out panties. I have a photo. Can I show it? I would love to see it. So we got exhibit A. Mm. Yeah, it's exhibit A. Exhibit B. Oh. <laughs> and then seal of approval. <laughs> Wait, let me do the seal of approval. I mean, I feel like we've spent the straight episode talking about our, I don't like fetishize straight men. No, absolutely. Hot men are no. hot men. I don't really care. I find you hot, but like, call me old fashioned. I want to somebody who wants to f me. Yes, and also like, you're hot. Okay, what else, what's interesting about you? And like, what makes you interesting? Yeah, do you get your brakes checked? Do you floss? Yeah. I want the information. Yeah, you have your toes done? <laughs> Um, Sometimes I think we fight so hard for our identity to be gay that we make straight people feel like if they do anything gay, they lose their identity as straight. When it's like, but what the f is all a just, straight identity? We should all just do it, girl. It's like being white. What's your culture? Yeah, tiki None. torches. Just, yeah, khakis. Have culture. Yeah. But I just think of the oppression that we escape as gay people, and I think of straight people living it forever. Um, boo hoo. <laughs> <laughs> also, f them. Yeah. Also, the fact that they do get married, it means they come to the drag shows and tip the doll. Yeah. So we'll take the money. Straight people, oh, performing for straight people is a different thing. It's a different, it's a different thing. I mean, when I see a straight guy, I actually have a pretty good uh, spidey sense about, uh, will I be physically assaulted if I get on his lap and grind my um, uh, palpable into his uh, crotch? Oh, we had a um, performer called Mr. Lady, and she she would uh, violently lap dance people, to, it's uh, injured some. And um, she would, like, the chair, she would, <clears throat> and the chair would move, 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 yeah. sometimes tip over. She uh, uh, broke a girl's arm once. They are, they are <laughs> straight girl, by the way. <laughs> when you're a dry queen and there's straight people in the audience, the way that we adjust our numbers we're doing when we hear that straight people are gonna be there is a testament to what we think of your intellect. Yeah. Like there's straight people here. I, I'm gonna pull out Barbie girl. Yeah, it's like, okay, pinker, it's, yeah. it's a Britney night. Yeah, here it's we a Britney go. night. Yeah, because we know that we can't do anything that is off the beaten path at all. Or you're gonna look at us like we have a third, third eye. Yeah, hey, wh what is this sound? It's not a top four. I don't know yeah. what it is. Yeah. When straight men go to a drag show, they are not in charge. Well, you know what I, I mean, mean? Straight men, especially white men, they walk into a room as if they had built it. It's insane. But what do they say? Like, I want all the confidence of a mediocre heterosexual white guy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Besides you, Ron. You are lovely. Ain't nothing mediocre about you, baby. Mm. Oh, we love that you, Ron. Again. This, none of this, none of this applies to you. I mean, Ron is an example of somebody who's gone above and beyond, who's actually contributed to queer culture. Ron is the absolutely would have been the next in line for my um, unrequited romance streak. I think he knows that since you tell him to camera. That I would stick two inches of my tongue up his <laughs> Yeah. HR issue. Thank Sorry. you for joining us. <laughs> Sorry about it. Can't help it. I'm gay. <laughs> Although to be fair, some of my the best fans that I have are straight men uh, who found out about me and us through their girlfriends. Same. And these people whom I've interacted with, they are... I, and it's also weird to Ugh. have straight guys be so nice to us at like, at drag con it'll be couples and sometimes the husband is more excited to meet us than the girlfriend. Or sometimes the father. Who, oh, like, the dad. The dad is like, I literally, my ovaries explode right in the kid's face. It's like, it's amazing. Yeah. We uh, are fortunate to get to interact with that minority, but the majority, you know, the thing that always occurred to me about straight people or, or straight culture, it's, it's so bland. Yeah. It just, to me, like, looks like a black and white movie that with no sound, and then gay is like Cirque du Soleil. Yes, yeah, so like, gays don't have living rooms that say, like, live, laugh, love. Yeah. That doesn't happen. No. I will say this, though. We're talking about straights, like, gays are so much better. We know plenty of gay no. trash. <laughs> no, gay people are rotten. We always talk about, like, bi erasure. Mm -hmm. I think part of that is because if you're bi, you'll tell people you're straight, so you don't have to deal with all the, the, the strings attached. You know what I mean? Do you have any idea? Do you have any idea how much I love bisexual men? There was this guy, it's this bisexual so guy in college, gave me crabs, it's fine. The crabs are bi too. <laughs> <laughs> but when I, 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 I don't wanna be, I'm just gonna be vulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> he was bi and very sexually active and he'd be like, we'd be having sex and he'd be like, yeah, I just <laughs> this girl yesterday. And I thought it was so hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know why. Is that gross? No! Especially if he was like, I f this girl, like earlier today before you got here. I love Make that. Make me feel cheap. <laughs>
<laughs> did, he, did he slap you? After no, that? he didn't slap me. He gave me crabs, which is sort of like the As ultimate a slap. slap. Face, yeah. yeah. Um, so if you're feeling bisexual, come. <laughs> Final thoughts. Um, a straight road will often get you there fastest, but you'll be sorry you did. Nope. If you know a straight person, stop. Yeah. No. Um, um, Listen, we all have moms and dads and they're probably straight. They're not all yeah. bad. No, I, I came from a gay lake. Do you think the ratio of... <laughs> <laughs> I was fished out of the water. Like this monster. A toddler. Oh, speaking of straight people, let's hear some questions from Twitter using the hashtag WowHelpMe. Now I would like to take a moment to answer some questions. I have a friends with benefits deal with a friend. Now I started developing romantic feelings but I am afraid of having that conversation with him. I am always unlucky in the romance department. Any advice on how to start this conversation? Hashtag wow help me. Okay, so you ended with a self-defeating statement that's gonna sabotage the whole game. I'm always unlucky. You've resigned yourself to defeat. Let's flip that script. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, I don't know, try it. Believe me, if you have an inkling that they're not into it, they're not. Don't flatter yourself. Yeah, and I mean, let me tell you something. I have had situations where I've had repeat, repeat, um, what do you call it, booty calls, and um, I won't do nothing besides I don't even really want to like eat food yeah. or watch movies. That's normal. <laughs> The first Craigslist, um, no, I'm sorry, Grinder date I had in, in Florida. This man made me watch 45 full minutes of a TV show I'd never seen in my life, but then, the death of a lifetime. It was the best, one of the best sexes I've ever had. But anyways, you can have this conversation without having the conversation. You just learn by doing, don't yeah. you think? Yeah, totally. Nothing gross to them be like, so I'd like to take this step uh, you know, uh, if someone likes you, you can tell. That's not necessarily true. Yes, though. it is. Remember that server at Hamburger Mary's who's asking me? What? Remember, we were at Hamburger Mary's to see Fina, and there was a server asking me, and we were like, Am I being asked? Yes, I am. What, what, now, what, I, I didn't see that. What did it look like? It was like, like every time he had to go out and serve a table, he was looking in my direction. Was it like, it was like every time. It's this. Yes, and like, let's say, let's say he's doing the Aloha, which is, you know, service industry, the thing. What's the Aloha? The computer that you use at restaurants. Oh, Aloha. okay. And he would be like, do, 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 do. and then like as he would turn, he would look at me. It's a lot of eye contact. Okay. And believe me, if you think you're imagining it, you are. Because when someone likes you, let's be honest, you can tell. You can tell. I disagree. Oh. I only disagree because of the, the amount of times I've heard, I've been in love with you for so long and I've just never axed on it. I thought that was just movie sh because oh, I, is. Is. I feel yeah. like in real life, this, the love story is never exciting because when two people like each other, it just happens. They bump into each other with hot coffee. Hot yeah. coffee. Yeah. yeah, they're both, it's important that you're both carrying it. And you yeah, both we'll get say, splashed yeah. in the face. <laughs> the liquids have to mix. Well, we hope we've helped you. And if you have a question, you can tweet us at World of Wonder using the hashtag WowHelpMe. And you can also watch this short little clip of me walking around a chair. Oh God, I have a, a, such a bony ass. I have such a bony ass. No pads in drag, weird. No bra, no, no panties. panties. Oh, in, in, um. What about, what about, um, breeder? Oh, hate it. I hate that hate, word. Well, I hate it in both, I hate it in all contexts. Cause I was gonna say, the only people I know who breed are gays. A gay, uh, get, breed me, bleh. Breed me breed, mom. I don't even like breeding pets. No. No, no, no breeders. No pure Shelter. Breads. Shelter, thank you.